So it's your boy, Dale Size, and I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. Tupac put it best when he said, you might be deep in this game, but you got the rules missing. Now this seems to be the case with California gangs in this day and age. You might be deep in the game, in this social media, mainstream Hollywood game, but you got the rules missing. Now, everyone old enough, anyone and everyone that's my age or older knows, as a matter of fact, that snitches were hit to prevent their testimony. You wanted to keep them from going to court. And that was how you were going to beat the case. That's why. And then there's a secondary issue over the fact that they did that. That's when politicking comes into play. But there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no politicking concerning who gets it for doing it. If, 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 if a civilian snitches on someone and that someone disappears, that snitch, that civilian, so that that civilian can't go to court and that, and that G can get off, that's the game. Those are the rules. You got that missing. You see, all your politicking selectively comes into play after the fact. When the homies are locked up and this and that, and even in that instant, it's selective in the politicking on who's who and what's what. Because a person could do anything so long as he's got the right people to stand up for him. It don't matter, and we know that. So to sit there and try to act like, to try to act like there's a distinction between a civilian and a gang member on the streets when it comes to snitching, nah, dog. You got the rules missing. You fools got the game all twisted, dude. What you guys call gangster is watered down and weak. And just so you people from California understand why outsiders speak the way we do about your gangster. Because those of us who are old enough and who put it down back in the days, 80s, 90s, we know different. And we have a we have a we have a different respect for the California gangs of that time than we do of those now that shit is lame dude it's all mainstream it's all hollywood it's all make-believe it's just figments of people's imaginations all it is is selective politicking that people come up with on the fly to justify their own their own logic and reasoning that's all politics is politicking is is a justification for a person's agenda that's all it does Politicking gives justification for an agenda that's being promoted. That's what politicking is. But you guys got the rules missing. You guys got the rules missing because you cannot even properly define something. You just seem to make stuff up. I, I think it's the E-40 effect. We just come up with your own language and whatnot and just put a meaning to it. But it's lame, dude. It's not gangster. All this is, is mainstream. And I think it was Rick Rock himself that pointed it out. That there's a difference between those of us who are on here, content creating, all of us. It doesn't matter what our histories are. We're content creators. We're YouTubers. We're social media lights. And those who are in the streets, it's like I was saying on a live that I don't know who's active in my neighborhood. I don't associate with people that are gonna put my life and liberty at risk. That's foolish. And I got family and, 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 and friends that are deep off in the shit. I don't know. I don't wanna know. I don't go around though, but I'm not putting myself at risk. I turn a blind eye. Now, because I'm not a gang member, I'm a civilian too here. All of us are technically civilians on YouTube. We're not gangsters, dude. We're talking about shit we shouldn't be talking about. And we all know it. So everyone on here that is trying to be gangster, no, there's no gangsters on YouTube. There's no gangsters that are rapping. We're social media lights. We're clout chasers, dude. That's what we're doing. We're trying to come up. And when I say clout chasing, I'm not saying it in a bad way, bro. We're trying to come up. We're chasing a bag. Are we not? We're in search of, we're in search of greater. We're giving our all, utilizing our, our, our greatest of potentials here to create, to co-create something that, that will resound 
You know what I'm saying? Put out some content that's valuable. You know, because all of us really want to make a difference. You know, and here's where here's where I have the utmost respect for Rick Rock. Is that he does, man. He promotes. I, I watch his shit. I, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm on his channel. I, I appreciate watching him growing, his, his, doing the films, the short films. And I'm waiting to see him bust, dude. I'm waiting to see Compton Rick Rock blow up. You know, do, make it in the film game, get some, get it, get it popping, man. Because he's not a game. I remember, mean, he goes out and he works out. You know what I mean? He puts content out like that. You know what I mean? But then he does sit back and he talks about these things like this. And I res like I said, I respect that he's defending Flacco from being bullied. But Flacco needs to clean that up, dog. People are missing this in the game. How, how, can, how, can, how, can, how can Rick Rock protect somebody who's gonna take the stand against somebody? That's gangster? Nah, dude. People got the rules missing, dog. And this is the thing about cr crime and criminality. Is it, you see how it corrupts the heart and the minds of people to believe things that don't exist? To just change rules up midstream to justify a political agenda in the streets and in prison. But like I was saying about Rick Rock, and he, as he pointed out, we're not the same, dude. Like, it's not, us on YouTube are content creators. We express ourselves. We, we typically have a downward look on all of it. It's just a distinction of how far down we look at it, dude. But all of us who are no longer part of that shit in any way, who are on here and honest about it, we look down on it because we're trying to pull those up with us. We're trying to pull people up out of it. We can't look up at something that's beneath us, that's behind us. And people miss this and all this. But see, you still got those that, that, that claim to be acting like they're gangsters on there. There are no gangsters, dude, you're snitching. If you're a gangster, if you're really trying to play, claim to be gangster because you're drugged up and doped up and you're delusional, you're in this fog and you can't see through it and you still think you're a gangster, but you're on here putting all your business out there, saying and doing shit you shouldn't be doing, snitching, dry snitching. Because rappers ain't that either. Rappers are dry snitches too. We'll just say dry snitches. So yeah, it's too much ex ex exposure of what never should have been exposed, and we all know that. You go ask any OG in any neighborhood. Because everybody always says that shit, man, there's too much information being put out there on this shit. Now, there's, there, 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 there are those channels that, that cater to the gangs and that cater to the prison that, that I feel are distinctly different. I'll give you an example, um, Into the Groove. Is it Into the Groove? Uh, homie from Hoover. It's like, you know, because I tap in. And it's just, it's, you know, to give to give these elders a platform to speak, to speak to the youth. I love it. You know what I mean? Like, because I know, like, I, I speak with elders who come out of it that are a lot older, my parents' generation and whatnot. And, 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 I, and I talk with them about, about, what was, what is, and what they would hope will be. And there's, there's certain things that are common, dude. When it comes to that generation, don't matter color skin. The N word, they don't appreciate it. The W word, well, wet back. I have to use it because some people understand. They don't like it. There's people that, these people, the, the stigmas of the, and the lashes on their backs the figurative metaphorical lashes on their backs over this shit is something that they cannot, they cannot cope with. And it's foul for, for generations of people to just throw it in their faces as if. And this is the whole lot of what's going on. Now, if we're going to defend the, uh, the defend civilians and defend the elders and defend these people, then we need to stop with the crime. Those are the ones who need to stop. And, and it's on us. It's imperative of us to speak to that. Because let me remind everyone, snitches get killed to prevent testimony. And it doesn't matter how old or young that person is. If a person wants that person, 
done to prevent that testimony is done. And it has nothing to do with the streets. You could go back to the whole stop the snitching thingy in Baltimore and how that was. Well, you couldn't, it's a different time, man. When, 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 when it's okay for a civilian to snitch, then it's time for gangs to stop committing crimes. Because I'm gonna tell you what, everybody in them neighborhoods needs to start calling the cops if that's the case. If they really wanna make a difference, they need to start calling the cops on their own people and their own communities to get rid of it, right? Because that's what you're saying. You can't do nothing to them if they decide they wanna call the cops on the homies. Man, you guys gotta start selling dope. Or we're gonna call the cops. What are you gonna do? What do you do then? And I'm gonna leave you with that. Peace, Mal.